Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today we have a Subaru Mini Truck that we recently imported from Japan. It's getting a little bit late and uh, our light is escaping here. So we're going to make this a little bit a quicker video than normal, but we saved the best for last. This is a uh, Subaru 4x4 5 speed. The stock number is SB. 9790. It's a five speed with extra low one. It has 31,000 original miles. It is $7,000 and it is a supercharged uh, Subaru sandbar. Supercharged sandbars are pretty rare and um, I, I've always been apprehensive about buying supercharged units. I didn't know this one was supercharged until it arrived. Um, but the reason I'm a little apprehensive is because, um, you know, uh, I, I feel like if somebody buys a supercharged vehicle, maybe they abused it. But this one has not been abused. So we kind of did really well and we're fortunate that this one's in good shape. So we'll go ahead and check it out and we'll test drive it and I'll show you what I mean. We had... Um, several people here today test driving this unit and they said you know that it does great and they like it so um, I'm going to test drive it too now for the first time and um, and give you my feedback so um, let's go ahead and let's check it out Okay, so starting with the um, front driver's cab corner, you've got a picture of the roof, looks really good. And the antenna looks like it's there. It's tucked away safely. A little bit of uh, surface rust on the headache rack there, not a big deal. It does have rain guards on it. The door, Look to be in very good condition. I don't see any dents on the door at all. The tires look good. You see the tread? And the wheel, at least on this wheel, looks really nice. The bedside also looks good. Here's the driver rear wheel, looks nice. And the tailgate, it's straight. Got a little dent right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the part that is so rare, supercharger. That's kind of cool. It does have more power, people. So if that's what you're wondering, it does. Let's look underneath this bed mat. Okay. So the engine cover does have some rust right there. It's not serious rust. The uh, bed shows sign of use, not abuse. The ribs... I'm going to say look straight. It does have an impression right there in the bed and right there also. Just an impression. Let's go ahead and look at the front of the bed. Same thing. Just surface rust. Nothing bad. No rust through just surface rust and once you get above the bed you know where the materials are stored everything looks really nice okay and there's the roof on the passenger side coming down i'm gonna roll the window up
This whole side right here is perfect. Nothing whatsoever. Not even a ding. The windshield looks perfect. Actually, you do have a little star, like a, a little nick right there. The front of the truck is dent free. And the bumper looks perfect. Yep, bumper's perfect. The interior door panel is in excellent shape. Under here, we don't have any signs of rust. It's dirt. What you see there is dirt. I know that it's a little low light. That surface rust there. Let's look under the floor mat. Looks really nice. And, and that black you see is from the bottom of the mat. So that's just uh, coloration from the mat. The seat is in good shape. I won't say it's in great shape. No tears here. But it does have a separation up top. Passenger seat looks really good, and the door panel looks great. The headliner is in excellent condition. So this just got photographed, so it should be on our website. It was photographed two days ago, so it just appeared on our website or, or if it's not on our website now it should be on our website soon Fifty thousand in one kilometers so i already know this truck or this truck runs really well and um, of course it is four wheel drive you engage it by pushing that button but we're not going to do that because so we're driving it on the road. And you don't want to drive a mini truck in four-wheel drive on asphalt. You always want to make sure it's in two-wheel drive. This truck turns on a dime. So the supercharger adds horsepower for sure. And, um, you know, I can't really convey that in the video. A little rain here. But it definitely drives with more power than the average mini truck. And, um, you know, for those who like supercharged vehicles, this one is uh, tight and low mileage. And I would say that it has definitely been well cared for. just went from third to fifth because I know I have this extra horsepower I can rely on you know um, a little extra performance and you can get away with a little bit more I think when you have this extra horsepower so I'm in fifth gear and I'm climbing the hill very very easily and that's because of the supercharger uh, normally, I do this in fourth gear, but, you know, so we're
we're going to really put it to the test. And we're going to leave it in fifth gear. Right there, that's fifth gear, which is asking a lot. We're going 24 miles an hour in fifth gear up a very steep hill with the lights and the wipers on, putting a load on the alternator, which does put a slight drag on the engine. And we are climbing the hill. I don't think I've ever done that in any of my videos before, but uh, because it's supercharged, it, it can do that. So there you go. This is a supercharged Subaru Sandbar with exceedingly low mileage. If you're interested in this truck, uh, give us a call at 336-777-9957. And um, if you'd like to email us, Feel free to email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. If you want to uh, check out our website, our website is mayberryminitrucks.com. We appreciate you checking out our video.